In this video, I'm going to show you how to add Prism JS code styling to your next JS website. So as you can see on the screen right now, I have a blog post and this is using next MDX remote uh, blog pages, but here is a code block and there is no styling at the moment. So the first thing that I want to do is actually import all the packages that we're going to need. Go ahead and open up package.json and at the bottom here, we're going to add some new ones. So here is what I added. We have MDX Prism, the main one. We have Remark Auto Link Headings, Remark Capitalize, Remark Code Titles, Remark Slug, and Rehype. So go ahead and paste that in. You can get the code in the link in the description or just type it in. And after that, we're going to need to stop our server and run Yarn. And this will reinstall all of the packages. All right, so now that that is done, we need to create a file for our styles. Now, if you've been following along with this series, we have a styles folder and inside of there is our theme.js. This is our chakra theme. So we're gonna create a new file inside of here and we're just going to name this prism.js. We're gonna import two things. We're going to say import CSS and that's from emotion slash react. And then we also need to import our chakra theme. So we're gonna have three consts in this file. We're gonna have const prism base theme, and this will be CSS. And then we need two more, and we're gonna export both of these. So we're gonna say export const prism light theme. So this will be the theme when we are on the light mode of our website. Same thing that's equal to CSS. And then we're going to do the same thing, but for prism dark theme. And if you don't have a light and a dark theme, all you're going to need to do is have one const, the base theme, and export that. So essentially what we're going to do is we are going to add our styles that are the same for light and dark and base, and then any additional styles we can add in the one we want. So let's first off add our base styles. We can do that just like this. And now let's build out the base theme. So remember, this is just CSS, so we're going to write it as such. Now, I'm not going to write all of this myself because that would be pretty long. So what I'm going to do is copy in some code from Prism's website and also some code from my personal website because I use this there. All right, so here is the base theme that I just pasted in. As you can see, it is just CSS. So for example, here I'm accessing the code element and I'm giving it this style and I'm doing the same for all of this. Now let me go ahead and paste in the light theme. So just adding a couple of extra things and here you can see I'm using my chakra UI theme. And finally let me paste in the dark theme. All right so there we go. As you can see 228 lines of CSS so definitely be sure to check out the link in the description to my github where you can find this code. So now that we have that, we're going to want to go into our app.js file and let's add this. We're going to import prism light theme and prism dark theme. We don't need the base because that's already in each of those two themes. And that is from styles slash prism. And then we're going to use that. We only need to write one line. That's going to be inside of our global. And for that, come right above, come right inside our styles. And we're going to first check the color mode. So we're going to say if color mode is equal to light, we want the prism light theme to be injected into our app. Else, use the prism dark theme. 
All right, just like that, make sure you end it off with the semicolon because this is CSS. And if you don't have this global tag, go ahead and you can create that, just import this, and then you're gonna wanna wrap that around your page props. Now, the last thing that we need to do is edit our mdx.js file inside of the lib folder. We just have to add a couple of things inside of here. So we're gonna want to go to the get file by slug method. And right here, as you see, we are setting our components to the MDX components that we had. So what we're gonna to wanna to do is say comma, MDX options. And then in here, we're gonna pass in our remark plugins that we imported first in this video. So we're gonna say remark plugins. That will be a list. And we're gonna say require. Remember we had remark auto link headings. Let me copy this, paste it twice. And we also had remark slug. And we had remark code titles. And then after the list, we're going to say rehype plugins, MDX prism. And then of course we need to import this. So we'll come up here and right below matter, we'll import prism. And that should be it. So let's go ahead and run our server. All right, we're getting, a, we're getting an error. And if I go back here, I spelled this wrong that should be code fix that now we'll go back give it a refresh and there we go so you can see our styles are coming through we have hello.js for our little header and we have the code being styled as javascript now if i change to dark mode the styles change as well So that's it guys, that's how you add prism code styling syntax to your Next.js application.